Hello you guys, my name is Eureka Monroe. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. I know you guys are aware of what's been trending right now, which is these colorful brows. Uh, I've been seeing a bunch of Instagram and YouTubers doing them, so I decided to partake and do this ombre effect of these colorful brows. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. All right, you guys, let's get started on this look. I'm gonna be doing a colorful ombre brow makeup look. Um, so I've already prepped my face using my Cover Effects Blurring Primer. And so we're just gonna get started on these brows. Usually my brows are already done, but that's the whole point of this tutorial is to basically focus on the brows and filling them in. So I'm gonna be using two of my Juvia's Place palettes to achieve this makeup look. And it's gonna be the Zulu palette as well as the Sahara palette um, for the color scheme. So first I'm just gonna go in with that orange shade there in the Zulu palette. And I'm just gonna put that on the inside of the brow. All right, next I'm gonna go into my Sahara palette and I'm gonna just pick up that bright red shade and put it right next to that orange shade. And then I'm just gonna go back into my Zulu palette and just kind of pick up this yellow, just so we want a little more ombre effect. So we want it to like kind of cascade into a darker color. So I'm just kind of putting that yellow in the front of the brow here. All right, so far I'm liking how it looks. So next I'm gonna go back into my Zulu palette and because my um, eyeshadow, or at least the vision that I have in my mind of my eyeshadow is gonna be like a reddish purple look. I'm just gonna put like purple. I know it's not super ombre, but I'm gonna just put the purple on the tail end of my brow. You can pretty much do any shade on your brow. So next I'm just going in with some concealer and basically using the concealer to shape my brow. All right, so I'm done cleaning up my brows. Next, I'm just going to use that same uh, ColourPop concealer and just use it to prime my lid. Just the fact that this look is gonna be very colorful. I just wanna make sure I get the most pigment from it. So I'm just going to prime my lid with a little bit of concealer. All right, next I'm gonna go back into my Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm just going to pick up that purple shade at the bottom there and just like really place that and focus that on the outer corner of my eye here. Really focus it on the outer V of my eye. All right, next I'm gonna go into my Juvia's Place Sahara palette and then I'm just gonna pick up that 
red shade again and put that next to the purple shade. All right, so you already know. Next, I'm gonna go into my Zulu palette again and pick up the orange and yellow shade and just put that right in the corner here, the inner corner of my eye. So I have my base, I'm just going back in with no extra product, but that purple shade, and then just kind of buffing out the edges, like with a very light hand. And diffusing that little harsh line there at the top of all those different shades with the purple. All right, so I'm done you guys with my eyes for the most part. I'm just gonna do my regular routine and put on my Jamar lashes and mascara, and then I'll be back to finish off the rest of my face. All right, so I'm back you guys, and I just applied my Jamar lashes. If you guys want a super affordable lash glue that works magic, I got this, um, it's the Eye Envy. Uh, Kiss I Am The uh, Super Strong Hold. It's in the color black. And when I tell you this adhesive works magic and it's super easy to apply. It has like this little like a wand, almost kind of like a liquid eyeliner. And when I tell you it holds, it holds. I mean, I used to apply lashes and use like certain adhesive glues and they'd be coming off halfway through the video. This one uh, that I am the uh, super long hold works magic and it's only $5.99. So um, just shots out to anyone who wants some bomb eyeshadow glue that actually holds lashes so next we're gonna go and finish up this look and i'm just going to go in using my um juvia's place um as well as my fenty like i did in my last video All right, next I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and this is in the color Dark 40 to highlight. All right, next I'm gonna quickly set my face with my Milani's Press Powder and this is in the color Banana. It's a translucent powder super affordable and I'm just using what's in the lid to set my highlight. All right, so next I'm just gonna go in with my Fit Me Poreless Foundation by Maybelline and just use this dark shade to basically liquid contour with. So next I'm going back into my 
So hard palette and picking up that red shade and just dabbing a little bit of that on the cheeks for a blush. And I just had my best friend try calling me while I was doing this video. Shots out to my bestie, Jessica. I will call you back as soon as I'm done with this video. Sorry. <sighs> I love you. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kiss All Over Glow highlighter and just put a little bit on my nose, down the bridge of my nose, the usual spots. And on this brow bone to really set off this shadow and this whole entire look. Look at the difference. Next I'm going to just go back in with all those shades, mainly the purple, and do the bottom portion of my eyes. All right, so next I'm gonna go back into the Sahara palette. I've already put the purple shade on from the Zulu palette and then this red shade from here. I'm just gonna go in with that goldish shade to really just set off this inner corner. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna do my lips. I would do a dramatic lip, but I feel like the eyes are already doing so much. If I wasn't filming, I like to be extra, so I would do a dramatic lip, but for this, I'm just going to do a soft nude, um, and it's gonna be using my Wet n Wild Multi Stick in the color Chocolate Cheat Date, as I always use, it's like the perfect brown. And then I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Icon Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Aquarius. All right, so this is the finished look, you guys. I absolutely love how it turned out. These colorful brows are just amazing. Um, I am so loving these colorful brows. You're about to see a lot more of them on my channel, especially this ombre effect. It's insane to me. Let me know in the comments down below whether or not you like this look. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And once again, my name is Eureka Monroe, and I will see you guys in the next video.